Hey everybody, this is Rido, and today we're going to spotlight a game called Let's Explore the Farm with Buzzy, or just called Let's Explore the Farm, parentheses, the junior trip journeys. Ah man, I've forgotten what they added to it, because that's not part of the actual name. So, this is a Scum VM game, and like all the humongous scum VM games that you get on Steam, they don't actually work for me. So I'm going to talk about how to set it up just by downloading the newest version of scum VM and just setting it up to run properly that way. So you get a new version of the, the engine. Uh, not that that probably really matters. If you don't want to see the setup, skip ahead a couple of minutes. So what you do is you click add game, then you would browse to C or whatever your hard drive is, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. And then you would scroll down to the Let's Explore the Farm with Fuzzy folder. Click that, then click choose. And then the only other thing I change is I override the graphics mode to high quality 3x. So it looks a little bit better. And I leave all the audio volume and paths exactly the same and so there we have it important to remember not to be in full screen mode or aspect ratio correction in the default and I'm gonna have the speech and subtitles on by default for both everything else I'm going to leave alone uh, so that's all you really need to do there so, then you have to hit start, then you have to hit alt enter to go into full screen mode, and then it's working. Mm. So I don't think that probably was even two minutes to do the setup. And it's, it's kind of a shame that, that they just so lazily don't have a launcher Hi, everybody. that works I'm your for guy, Steam. Buzzy the knowledge bug. They call me Buzzy because I'm always buzzing around and asking questions. I found out lots of great stuff that way, and now I can pass it on to you. Today, I'll be showing you around the farm. The farm is where food is grown and some animals live. Pigs, chickens, horses, and cows, they're all here. There's a lot to do and see in a farm, so we better get started. Let's go! So, it's weird that the tractor there came in and made background noise while the intro was going and if you had watched the previous spotlight where it was let's uh buzzy at the airport now we're at the farm and so it's practically the same thing it's just the location and the information is different you can click on buzzy to get a small introduction here whoa Will you look at this big, beautiful farm? Come on, let's go for a closer look. So by default, these games, uh, these junior... Yeah, I think they're called Junior Field Trips. They got renamed that. It doesn't say it anywhere in the game, though. Uh, are interaction, interactive touch boards. You click on something, you go somewhere, you click on something, and something happens. Uh, now you can change it from being in interactive touchboard mode into a more informative touchboard by clicking what is this and then ho hovering Fine. over something. So if you want to know what a vine is, it then takes you to an actual definition Bro. that if the child doesn't want to read, he can just have it read aloud. A vine it is groups a very things long way stem. too close it together. It sometimes though. wraps itself around posts attaches itself to walls or grows along the ground. Some vines grow fruit like grapevines. Other vines grow pretty flowers. Apparently no vines grow ugly flowers according pretty. to this definition. And you can hover over any grow. one single word but a. at the time since this is a 22 Vine year old game uh, is having a. each word Very light up as he was talking damn that doesn't Sometimes. happen 
and each of these definitions that we see have some Root. things you can click on that will take you to another definition and you can just go to the index here let's go all the way back to the beginning and see all the vocabulary words that the child can learn or even an adult I suppose could learn it's quite a lot of words not a huge ton but it's a decent amount considering this is for three-year-olds um, none of these things are going to be too old-fashioned even though they're 22 years it's a 22 year old app uh, for instance like a milk, milk can. can you may not ever see one in real life in modern day but the information it's saying isn't milk. going to be really different um, and so there's nothing really wrong with this pond skater is apparently a bug I didn't know that um, rooster roosters are still roosters salt is still salt sheep are still sheep spoons are still spoons and so you go Ranch. this full full Ranch. length of vocabulary words now the printing doesn't work unfortunately you'll see very tiny text here says printing is disabled that's scumvium's engine going look we can't adjustable we can't do that we we don't have the ability to translate that old style of printing to a modern printing uh printer interface uh there's many locations here that, where you can look around and many things to click on so it's certainly going to be helpful if the child is obsessed with the farm and animals in the first place otherwise they might run out of things to click on let's see if we can find all the things there's at least a couple layers here of of places you can click into so while it may seem like there's less than there actually is there's actually like a couple things here let's see and a grain mill section and a lot of educational things that probably would only keep a child's attention for about five to thirty minutes per use but if they're obsessed with it they might want to play this game every single day uh, which is pretty typical for young children and it's how they learn so no real problem with it you're not gonna find any of the games or anything however by clicking on all of, on all of these things this is just going to be good uh well i guess you suppose i suppose these are interactions so they do uh they are games and you can see there are different reactions for clicking the same thing sometimes but the actual games i guess that's a water skier uh, that that is my one of my complaints about the previous uh, spotlight we did for the airplane one is that the games are are right here and not in some of the dead areas like there's some dead space right here you could have hidden had a button that went directly to the game there's kind of some dead space right here you could put in the game down here we have the tractor getting all of this let's look at the games uh, now so you click time to play go ahead and type in your name first and time I buzzy the knowledge bug will keep track of your score as we play first time you play you, you can type in your name and let's see can we do different colors each one why yes we can so that's nice to know let's see does white actually work yeah I guess it does all right hey let's play a game multiple players just so you can have multiple kids away play. We go. it doesn't if you need any help just ask me 
Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. It doesn't keep a score or any kind of record of what you do at the farm as far as it being a digital touchboard. So the only time it keeps score is here. Hey, and let's see how you're doing. Here we can see for the spell it game, there's a hundred different words. For the trivia, there's a hundred different questions. For the find it, there's a hundred and ten things to find. And the eggs away seems to go forever. So that's interesting. Ready to play another game? Unlike, All you gotta do is pick one. Let's see. There, there was slightly different games here and here in the airplane one. There was no spelling at all in the airplane one, and that seems like that's kind of a odd thing to miss out on. And then the eggs away seems like it's a pure game. Uh, let's start with the coloring book. The coloring book hey! works pretty let's well, some pictures. but it has some confusing aspects to it. For instance, if you paint something here blue and then grab say red and put it there it doesn't mix together it just replaces in a flood fill animation which is fine but then the sampler here can grab the bee and only one color so it seems kind of strange that you're having these multiple colors happen here and it seems like they intended for you to have some kind of combination happen but it doesn't occur like you can't mix the colors at all if you want to undo something you can click this if you want to redo it you can click it so it's just an undo and redo and if you want to erase everything do you really you want to erase all the colors click here and then it asks and so you can color this it's pretty good unfortunately major flaw can't print again so that's a slight problem but I guess it will also save your printer some ink there's a there was about 20 of these in the airplane one I imagine there's about 21 20 in this uh, farm one too Maybe a little bit less than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, only about 14 pictures this time, so it's a little shorter, but still fine. Do you want to play another game? Hmm. Buzzy comes in every now and then. He's not super annoying, but he could get a little annoying. You have the find how it easy option. Or how hard do you want the game to be? Last time I tried hard and I wasn't able to do it. Let's do easy this time. So he's going to pick an item for us to find. Let's play find and it. then we're going to go back to First, the farm and try and find Buzzy it. The knowledge bug will choose something I know you can find back at the farm. Then we'll buzz back over there and take a look. Hmm. Keep your eyes open and when you find what you're looking for, just click. Here's your first item. Now, let's see if you can find it. So we're looking for a pie in the window, and... Down below is a picture of the item. It's somewhere in this area. So easy has made it really easy by putting us in the specific area that we, we didn't even find. Hard certainly didn't do that. So Congratulations! Find it. You found it! Let's find another! And so that's where it's gonna start integrating okay, the overworld. Okay, let's see if you can find this one. Good luck! But there's a hundred of these, so... Down below is a picture of the item. It's somewhere in this area. Getting a little repetitive, you might hear that a lot. But if you go back, and if you go back, in hard mode, it starts right here. And so can I even go back and find it, having just seen the area? Was it over here in the farm? And then over here with the sheep? Yeah, so really, really 
far, and if they get bored, they can click stop playing at any point. Uh, Let's play another game. So just in Do comparison. Do you want to play easy, hard. medium? Hello there. Let's play find it's it. It's a slight shame for a modern game. It's it's a little bit harder to to skip some of this dialogue than it should be. Uh, a lot of repetitive stuff can be said here, and I'm as certain that this would probably be become one of those annoying things if they're not listening to headphones, and I would caution letting kids use headphones at all. Even the ones that claim they've been their child safe have been shown to not actually been child safe about having being too loud and potentially causing ear damage that we certainly don't want to happen. Uh, so, yeah, here on hard, you start out at this point and I have no idea what this is at all. I guess I could have them choose again or just click stop playing. One of the things play. about this game and games like this being old games is unless you have a touch screen on your phone or on your uh, on your PC or you're playing this on your phone I suppose you could do that uh, you'd probably only want to do it on a tablet though because the resolution would be so small and you'd have to uh, it would be too difficult to click on things but if you're playing this on you speed, want the game to be? Uh, on PC, <laughs> on a speedy PC there, so I guess what I meant to say. Uh, Let's play spell it. The, case, it will help train the children to level, use you don't get to see the picture a mouse, at all until you're which done. most kids these Good days, luck. even upon entering kindergarten, are not having very much experience with w. Uh, with using a mouse because everything is now uh, B H is all y. is all touch screens on cell phones and such. So this isn't spell it as much as this is hangman. So that's it's, it's This is interesting. There's no E. This is kind of too advanced a game for for three-year-olds. So I guess this is crowbar. C R O W B A R. Crowbar. Let's see what Good happens job. when we fail. Here's another here. one. We'll just start here. Z. It seems like you get six chances on hard. And easy is probably a lot different here. I don't really object to them playing. Hangman or anything as a game. It's just I think the name The name spell it doesn't really explain that So I'll give you another one So if you fail it just gives you the answer No real problem there. This game Ready seems to play very another game? Easy All you gotta do is pick one kind as far as making mistakes, let's how see what easy, easy or mode how is hard like this. Do you want... R. Alright, so this is more what you. I was expecting. A. Was something along this line. And so you just get a moo and a cow walking away for every of your mistakes. And see, so it shows your picture on easy too. I imagine medium probably Go doesn't and choose. show you the picture. Interesting. Medium is effectively the same as hard. Oopsie. Oh wait, no, every time you make a mistake it it adds you a part of the picture. Hmm. 
So right answers don't fill in the picture any, but right, wrong answers do. So that is your medium version of it. Not too bad. Hey, hey, knowledge buddy. Let's play a game. Let's see what eggs away is. I imagine eggs this away is, is just eggs a complete away. game and with no education at all. Before they hit the ground. Yep, this is more of a reaction thing where everything up to this point hasn't really had a time limit or anything. It's kind of surprising okay. a Scum VM game can even do this. Okay. This is actually okay. uh, okay. a little bit beyond what that those okay. engines are okay. supposed to be capable of. Okay. They're usually for point and click adventure games with okay. no real time time mechanic. Okay. Hmm. It's not too okay. bad. You don't have to click any mouse buttons or anything. Let's see what happens here. When we shoot okay. shoot a mouse an egg back. Hmm. Let's see. So that's 12 eggs. You are really good at this game. And then we'll do level two. Let's see, I wanna get back to this and see what the mouse click. No difficulty on this. There, there's some weirdness here because the eggs sometimes go through the wood things and sometimes they don't so that they're, they're kind of falling for random reasons so if I click it does shoot one back up there all of a sudden though you're like whoa that's that's a little too fast for me oh, getting a couple of broken eggs here Let's see what happens if we drop Let's all try of them. A harder level. If we just don't grab any of them, let's see if, if the game game's over. We'll just sit okay. over here. So, since there's three of the field trip ones, okay. and the third one is let's okay. explore the jungle, which uh, is a little bit... Okay. Slightly less pertinent information, I would say. Okay. Uh, well, okay. it's good for kids to learn vo vocabulary words of okay. the jungle and such. Most Western okay. people, uh, well, most American okay. kids at least, are not going to have okay. any actual experience in there. Uh, I suppose in a similar way. This game is tough. But you can do it if you keep trying. So you, that, so I lost level three. So you you do need at least okay. six eggs, I suppose. Let's catch six and then fail okay. the others and see if that's enough. Okay. Um, I suppose okay. the let's explore the airport okay. in its own way is also kind of. Okay. Something that you might be encouraging a kid running around in fascination at an airport, which is n probably not encouraged these days, but it's, it's not a, as big of a deal, I suppose. Like, I guess really you're never going to give your three-year-old the opportunity to run around the jungle, an airport, or a farm, unless it's a petting farm. Uh, like a petting zoo type thing. You dropped some, but you caught enough to go to a harder level. And see, it seems like we got more score there, too. Um, okay. question then, how does one exit? You have to go okay. over here and okay. click on it, I guess. I, I really don't see the point here of tossing the eggs back up. Hmm. 
it seems kind of strange that they can have so many eggs actually uh, actually on screen. How does one exit though? There that you go. was fun. Let's go explore some more. Seems like the exit button is only Wanna available play a game? after each round. I'm ready when you are. So let's do trivia questions now. What level do you want to play? Let's see what it is like on easy, medium, and hard. Are you ready for some trivia? For the trivia. Not only do knowledge bugs like to answer questions, we love to ask them too. That's how we get to learn so much great stuff. So now, I'm going to ask you some questions, and you can tell me the answers. Good luck! What is a grasshopper? An insect. Good one! Alright, and so if this is easy, it's probably just the easy questions. What do you call a baby pig? Well, piglet's the right answer. Let's see what happens when we click on the wrong answer. But just some funny sounds. The answer sounds. is a piglet. And then he'll come out and Here's tell you the a answer. a new question. If we want it read aloud to us. What do you call the glove used to pick up hot pots and pans? A mitten, a muff, an oven mitt, a boxing glove. It's an oven mitt. One hundred percent right. So. Well, he'll do all of that if we could choose this. the best answer. That's all he says. What's he say? The same if you time? get one wrong, don't worry. I'll ask it again later. Hmm. There are lots of clues in the index. So, yeah, you could go to the index and look it up. That's a weird statement, though, that for him to say he'll ask it again later. Let's if you play get another one wrong. game. Does that mean that it, I imagine since there's a limitation here of hey, let's see uh, how you're doing of a hundred trivia questions, it eventually will just have to cycle back through this. And again, if you could print, you probably could print this page or something like this page to get an idea of your child's progress here. Uh, in general, though, I don't feel like... Oh, look, it does say Junior Field, field Trips over here. Hmm, I guess that is part of the name. I thought that was added on. Let's I, it's not play. on the main screen. Let's see what the difference between how easy a hard or how hard do you want to get is. A frond is... What? Someone you like? The handle of a shovel? An insect? A kind of leaf? The handle of a shovel? No? Kind of leaf? Yes! Hmm. What is another name for a feed bag? A lunchbox, a nose bag, a bale, a still. A still? A nose bag? Interesting. Super! There's actually kind of some complicated questions here. Where the persimmons come from? California? China? Like, I wouldn't know it. these. Let's get another one. Which of these birds can't fly? Well, let's see. We know it's an ostrich, but we could come over here and look up each of these birds. And let's see. Pack rat. Well. Opossum. Orchard. Hmm. That's interesting. Ostrich Pepper. isn't here. Oven mitt. Hmm. But you could look a bird. bird. Penguins and ostriches cannot fly at all. Hummingbirds can fly upside down, backward, and or even up in place. Many birds chirp and sing songs at sunrise. So we go back to the question. And an ostrich. So you'd have to look up the word bird, and they're not making it easy on you to figure that out. That's 
That's much higher than a three-year-old's level of uh, investigation work there. Uh, Ready to play another game? So it, all you gotta do is pick one. Strangely, playing trivia on the hard, playing find it on hard, and playing spell it on hard are all way above a level oh, I would say a three-year-old should be playing. I would say that even an adult would probably have a, a entertaining few minutes playing all of these. Uh, it, it's kind of strange for such a young game to have hard modes in it. Maybe they, maybe it's because they figured the kid would get really bored and maybe a six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old, uh, maybe a ten year old would still want to play this and play it on hard, I guess. Particularly if they put it away for a few years and they came back to it. Uh, this is, like I've said several times, a 22 year old game, so even putting it away for a couple decades, it still works very well as a kid's game. And sadly, there's just a complete lack of educational and just kid-appropriate video games. Uh, it's something I've noticed in a lot of industries. Uh, you can't really find uh, like comic books you really can't give to little kids because there aren't enough of them. Video games you really can't give to kids because there aren't enough of them. Board games, you can do Candyland, you can do a lot of those games, but if they get bored of the standard ones, you can't really find any others uh, because the more complicated and usually more entertaining ones are too difficult. Uh, so then you end up with these specialty products and the, as a specialty product it, it works pretty well. I will say, like I said last time, there's some flaws here. There's no apparently way to stop the quit button from being clicked. It does ask, are you sure? So you can hit no. That's what that tiny little screen there is saying. But there's no way just to lock somebody into this. And if you were trying to set this up on like a library PC or in a school, you definitely want something like that. Uh, if, if you quit out because it uses the Scum VM uh, emulator, you're gonna have to go through that mess again, which, uh, is a little bit of work and beyond what a three-year-old's going to figure out by themselves. There's no timer that says uh, you've played for too long so you can't watch for that. Uh, there's no clock anywhere so they can't know how long they've been played playing and the only time you can change players is when you go to the time to play uh, area and change players there. Anything you do in any of these sections which I'm sure I've missed a lot of sections. Don't get rem remembered. They are just cute little animations. Some of them are silly and not scientifically accurate, obviously. Like this rooster's little f things of flesh there inflating into a hand. That wouldn't really happen. But uh, we don't have to be 100% factually accurate for little kids that they won't remember half of the things they learn anyways but ideally they will learn at least a few of these vocabulary words and and just in general have a fun time uh in a lot of ways you you gotta you kind of have to decide do you want the uh do you want a kid to play a game like this for a short amount of time to educate them or do you want them to play it over and over again for a long amount of times to entertain them the whole edutainment mixture doesn't really work greatly uh, because if they're entertained with something they're gonna play it over and over again and they're only gonna learn so much uh, by doing the same things over and over again yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if kids just get 
like obsessed with clicking on one thing over and over again and over and over again and, and not really learning anything from that and if you want them to actually be educated well then you would want them to move between different things and use the what is it to find out what certain things are like a backyard backyard farmhouse farm and it's like and read some more more of the index and i could easily see a lot of people playing this a lot of kids playing this game and never getting to the index never going through all the index uh, which is fine either way is fun in in the end the kids kids will learn what they will learn at best you can uh set the opportunity to them eventually they will get into kindergarten and have to cover all of this information again there is potentially some problems too with being such an old game you might find something that is out of date that then when they're in the kindergarten they will uh try to they'll they'll say well i learned it this way and then the teacher will go well now it's it's this way we saw some of that in the let's explore the airport because they were specifically talking about like specific airport uh, air helicopters or the airplanes use kerosene where nowadays most people would say airplanes use jet fuel because they're thinking jets uh, a wash tub for instance is not an item that most people would have any use for or even own or even know what it is so but that's fine it probably would never come up and again when kindergarten comes around they'll they'll correct that and who knows i wouldn't be surprised if in kindergarten the books that they're using aren't 22 years old or more too uh, depending on how well funded the school is Anyways, that's going to be it for our spotlight of Let's Explore the... Isn't that what it's called? Man, I wish I could actually see the name of this. That's going to be our spotlight for this game, whatever it's called. I don't want to get it wrong. Let's Explore the Farm with Buzzy, the Junior Field Trip. It's a really long name. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos all of that helps out if you want to support me further click on my name right out that will take you to my main youtube page on the right there's a button that says support this channel click it make a donation also on my main youtube page is the bell you need to click to get notifications for my new videos and a playlist tab that has a link that has a playlist for every single game i've ever covered Finally, down below in the description box, I have links to all my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. So please follow and friend me on all of those. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.